Hi everyone, my name is Jasper Lemans, and I would like to present to you an efficient approach for out of distribution detection in digital pathology. This work is motivated by current weakness of many deep learning algorithms, which I would like to illustrate with an example. Let's say we've trained a model to classify images belonging to a specific animal class. If we then give this model out of distribution data, such as a class it has never seen before during training, it will still predict an animal class. In that sense, this model is failing silently. On medical data, this can have big consequences. Therefore, we would like our model not to fail silently, but to fail loudly on out of distribution data. For instance, by giving an uncertainty score. Here, a high uncertainty would indicate an out of distribution sample, which would require more expert supervision. This is of course also important for the field of digital pathology. Therefore, in this work, we consider models trained to detect breast cancer metastasis on lymph node tissue. We would like to see high accuracy values for this task during inference. However, we would also like to see the ability to detect out of distribution data. In this case, lymph node tissue diagnosed with lymphoma. Currently, there are two popular approaches for this task, which are based on measuring the entropy value of either MC dropout or deep ensembles. We, however, would like to propose to use multi-head CNNs, which are similar to the current state-of-the-art deep ensembles, but more efficient through extensive parameter sharing. This leads to a more computationally and memory efficient model. The biggest advantage of being more memory efficient is the ability to train the entire model at once and to promote diversity during training. Here's an example of how we do this. We've illustrated the multi-head CNN with its share part in white and the different end parts in blue, the heads. We can then measure the loss for each individual head. Here to promote specialization, we will distribute gradients during training and assign the biggest gradient update for the winning head. In this case, the first head will specialize the most for this specific input pattern. For a different input pattern, say the second head has the lowest loss and after gradient updating, this head will be the most specialized for this input pattern. We hypothesize that distributing gradients this way will lead to a better coverage of the input space, which is important for improved out of distribution detection performance. When looking at the results of our multi-head model, we really see the value of having the uncertainty estimates associated with the prediction that the model makes. In our case, the model is capable of making a tumor segmentation mask for breast cancer metastasis, which you can see in the middle panel. In the panel on the right, you see the uncertainty heat map associated with this prediction. Here we see regions where the model incorrectly classifies the tumor class for healthy tissue, but we see that the uncertainty heat map correctly flags these regions, which demonstrates the importance of having these uncertainty estimates. We can then measure out of distribution detection performance by doing an ROC analysis on the uncertainty estimates. Here we compare the uncertainty estimates on cases from the test set versus the out of distribution lymphoma cases. Doing so, we see favorable results for the multi head model, slightly outcompeting the other baselines. We can also check the influence of training by distributing gradients for the multi-head model. Here we compare both training with and without distributing gradients for a multi-head model of both five or 10 heads. In both cases, we see improved out of distribution detection performance when distributing gradients, which shows the importance of this method. To conclude, we've shown that we can fail loudly on out of distribution data in digital pathology. Here we see favorable results for the multi-head approach even compared to the current state-of-the-art deep ensembles. Here we also see the importance of training by distributing gradients to promote specialization of our multi-head model. For more details and experimental results, we refer you to our paper and to the code that is available on GitHub. Thanks for watching.